Hey, it's 135 to beat Miami's new number one for hip hop, RB, and the Breakfast Club. Bobby Keith holding it down. And in the building, the one, the only, D30. What's good, my boy? What's up? What's up? 103.5. It's your boy, D30. That's what's up, man. So glad to have you here, man. First of all, is this your first, like, I seen you on another radio station that had similar <laughs> things that we do. I think it was 105.3. Where was that? Was that, that was Orlando? Or? That was in Tallahassee. Yeah, that was Tallahassee. in Tallahassee. Tallahassee. All right, all right. That's what's up. But this is your first time in Miami radio? Yeah, my first time in Miami So radio. glad to have you. Listen, first of all, I just want to give you your props for just, you know, doing your work in the city, creating your own buzz, uh, you and your team, keep it 100. Um, you've done a phenomenal job to the point where I had to go meet you. You know, and that's that time, yeah, you know, correct. you pulled up on me in appreciate the studio. It. No, I appreciate it, man, because um, I want to start off the conversation by saying, you know, sometimes us in the industry, we have to do a better job of connecting with y'all, you know, whether you're doing your thing in the underground or on the streets to so find out who's the hottest in the city and go seek that out. You know what I mean? Because not everything is going to come to us. You know what I mean? So I literally went to go look for you because your name was buzzing so heavy. Correct. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's a pleasure, man. Uh, so so how'd you get the name D30? Uh, no, nah, my first name just started with a D, and I just put my favorite numbers together and things like that. That's dope, man. And yeah, then you bro. have some other acronyms that follow it, I know, on your Instagram. I think it's ABK? Yeah, um, All By Knowledge. That's really my uh, label. Oh, that's what's yeah. up, man. So who got you in the game? When did you first realize that, yo, you have this talent and I'm about to do something with it? Uh, really, when I just really just uh, kept rapping and I just kept getting feedback and different content, so I just felt like I could keep going. That's what's up. Was it a specific person I was like, "Yo, come, let's go to the studio"? Someone that you say, probably give credit to for like um, helping you out. I probably get some credit to um, Iceberg. He he was one of my big um, features, far as in the inner city. You get? Aren't y'all related? Yeah, that's like my, that's my little cousin. Dad, all right, so, all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. And everything good with you and Berg? Does he still continue to... to... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We still talking things like that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, I know you're from the city, right? Yeah, let me And see. I know um, in the city, it's just so many artists just trying to... It's like almost like crabs in a barrel with so many artists trying to get their way out. You know, maybe having to hustle and do other things before they can really get an opportunity to let the music really, you know, cover everything. You know, do you feel a lot of pressure coming out of the city and, and being now, like, hailed as one of the hottest rappers coming out of the city? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of pressure sometimes. It's, it's like you just got to keep working and just, you know, it, it it's really, um like, flowers, basically. I take it as just like you gave me some of them. It's really like, you feel me? Because it's like you just got to keep working to where they recognize you. That's what's up, man. Um, and 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 as far as like the people around you, like you feel like like they are really depending on you to be able to, you know, make sure you push through and go where you need to go musically in order to kind of like, you know, be able to uh, help out your team. I wouldn't say they depending on me, but I feel like they believe in me. So it's like it's really the same thing. But I wouldn't say depending on me. Like gotcha. they feel like I could get the job though. Got you. And is there other crew members that are also in the game like you that's coming up with you? Yeah, rapping? yeah, I got a couple uh, up and Carter artists that's with me. I want um, you to shout them out because I think some of them were at People Matter 380, first. 380, I got 380, I got uh, OTK Dad. I got one of my other dogs, Sis K Fly. He, he nice too. It's, it's a couple more too. I just can't mention everybody. It's so many. I, right, right, right. Um, that's it. And all of them are part of your, your crew as well? Um, Not all of them are part of my crew, but it's all connected. It's got all you. connected. Got you. So what was the first song that, like, really did it for you? Like, you know, when that song hit, like, your name really started buzzing and, and you started getting some airplay. Uh, I got a song called Blitz. Mm -hmm. um, I think I made it, like, a couple years ago. That was, like, one of my first songs. Yeah, I heard that song when I was doing my research. Yeah, man. yeah that was one of my first ones. That go crazy. And let's talk about some of the, um, the, the, the mixtape and some of the stuff that you had put out um, on your way up as well. Can you name them? Um, yeah, I got a couple tapes. I got... Um, it was when I first started. It was um, I think now they believe me. Mm -hmm. Then I made a deluxe to that. And, um, I got youngest emotion, youngest emotion um, two, youngest emotion three. Yeah, and I got a couple more takes after that. I got about seven of them. Wow! And the latest one out now. Um, the latest one drops tonight. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Tell everybody the name of that one. Um, sorry to my fans. All right. So why did you name it Sorry to my fans? Uh, Cause basically, I feel like I ain't been dropping enough music and basically focused enough. So 
Mm. I just felt like I owe that tape to them. That's dope, man. Uh, what do you think threw you off your focus or why, you know, why you think you had to, like, recognize that and get back on? What do you think that was? Um, you know, it just be, like you say, it just be everyday life. So yeah. it's just, like, life and things like that. Sometimes you can't really give it your your all sometimes. So I'm just ready to give it back my all. That's dope, man. I mean, you got a you got a serious fan base, man. You got a yeah. you got a nice following. Um, let's talk about the, the 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 new tape that's dropping tonight. Now, um, I consider all your songs your babies. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but you know, we try to act like we don't have a favorite, but we do. Um, out of the joints dropping tonight, which ones are you really like? You know, excited for people to hear. <sighs> It's, it's like, I wouldn't even know, because it's like, I already had a music like a month before, so I bumped all the music so yeah. much, it's like, I, it's hard to pick. But it's like, hopefully, whichever one I see the most feedback from, it may be the one that I like the most. That's what's up, because you just love them all yeah, like your like, kids, yeah. right? I can't really pick one. <laughs> That's what's up. So, what kind of feedback do you get out of town? Because I was talking to, um, to school from Keep It 100, and he explained to me, like, you know, sometimes it takes us a longer time to recognize what we have here in South Florida, but other places around South Florida gravitate to our very own artists. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Um, first of all, how do you feel about that? And then second of all, where do you feel like you get the most love from outside of the city? Um, far as, really, it's just Florida. Like, it's a Florida thing. Like, I know for sure Florida with us, so it's yeah. like, I can't really say no other state as of now, but Florida, Orlando, Tallahassee, they, it's love over there, so yeah. it's like, yeah, it's just Florida, really. Does that make you feel a way? And I, I want to have a real conversation with you about it. And we, you know, so I don't want you to feel like you know any kind of way. But it, do you sometimes feel a way like, damn, I'm from Miami, but I'm getting all this love from Tallahassee more, where I should be getting the same type of love? From yeah, 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 yeah. That make you feel some type of way a couple times. That's another thing that'll probably make you not really want to rap sometimes. Like it'll put you in that mode. Like right. I don't really got time right now, but. It's just different politics, so it's like as we go get bigger, the politics get bigger. Well, I'm happy you recognize that because it's 100% politics, yeah, you know what I'm politics. saying? And, and and we had conversations where I told you I'm trying to right some of those wrongs. and you know, Correct, correct. And I want, like, if it makes sense, like, if you're so hot in the city, we got to support you, bro. You know what I mean? And we got to recognize you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, and this is where we start, you know what I mean? I want to thank you for doing the People Manifest. Appreciate you. You know, it was such a pleasure having you there. And, and, and um, you, I did want to give you your flowers when I did that intro. Yeah, yeah, you did. You, you, you <laughs> gave me a good intro. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> of course, man, of course, because I just wanted them to know because I was bridging so many gaps. So, like, I had JT Money on there, which is a Miami legend. You know what I'm saying? It was killing it probably before you was born. Yeah. And so I wanted to give him his flowers, and then I wanted to also give, like, the new artist who I, who I consider the hottest coming out of Miami right now, D30, I wanted to give you your flowers as well. So to be able to bridge all those gaps, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Put the pieces together. Exactly, man. Well, listen, I'm so excited for you, brother. I mean, we're going to celebrate you tonight. You know what I mean? Um, we want, like, every everybody bumping that new D30. So just let them know. Uh, the name of the tape and how they can connect with it, how they can get it and, and get ready for it. Um, name of the tape gonna be sorry to my fans. Um, it will be on all platforms, streaming platforms, as far as um Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you search up, it may pop up for you. <laughs> YouTube, That's things like up. that. Well, we appreciate you, man. You did a great interview, D Thirty, man. You ready for the game, man? The game is ready for you. I wish you all the best, and I'm telling you here in front of the camera and. In front of everybody that's going to see this, you have my full support, brother. Appreciate you, Papa Keith. Shout out 103.5 to beat. All right, salute. Salute.